Hercules brought the naval supply ship, Krakatoa, into the naval yard. The naval inspector on duty that day was a tough little tug named Blue Moose. All right, stand off, Hercules. I've got an inspection to perform on that vessel. She's all yours, Blue Nose. I'm late for my next job across the harbor. Sorry, Hercules. Can't leave yet. What's that? Rule 16C. A tug shall not leave a docked vessel until inspection is completed. Nobody's enforced that rule for years. Well, when I'm on duty, we do things by the rule book. Well, when I'm on duty, I do my jobs on time. And I'm already late for the next one. Leaving the scene of an inspection! Rule 29 double F! Oh, you could spend two days in dry dock for this! Nearby, Otis was waiting for the ship he was supposed to tow in. Uh, first time I had a tow that didn't show. Where could that tanker be? Move on, Otis. There's no loitering outside the naval yard. But I... Rule eight B. No loitering. Move on before I get back. Rule 8B? Never heard of it. Shortly after that, Blue Nose was towing a Navy barge. Top secret supplies coming through. Make way! I'll have my fuel barge out of the way in a sec, Blue Nose. I'm tangled in the buoy line. Too bad, Ten Cents. The Navy waits for no one. Rule 34J. But Blue Nose, it's a fuel barge. You could throw a spark and cause a fire. The only thing I'm gonna throw at you is the rule book for clogging the waterways. Now make way, unless you want to spend a couple of days in dry dock. There's nothing worse than a bossy boat. I heard that. Insulting a naval vessel. That's a violation of rule 19J. After that, the Star Tugs got together and traded stories about Blue Nose. I don't like the way he bosses us around. But you can't argue with him. He's got the rule book on his side. I know a rule's a rule, but he doesn't give us any slack. I say we don't put up with it. You mean go on strike? Right. We'll refuse to do any more work for the Navy Yard. <laughs> work for the Navy Yard! Until Blue Nose becomes an officer and a gentleman. Here, here. The Star Tugs kept their promise. Next time the Navy Yard offered them work, they refused it. They were on strike until Blue Nose got his bossy nose out of the rule book and started being nicer to everyone. Well, Blue Nose was not about to change his ways. Rules were rules. And it was his job to enforce them. Listen up, Zero Blade. We've got some barges of dangerous explosives. Uh, that stuff that might blow up, right, Zip? Right, Captain Zero. The barges need to be taken out at noon today. Soren, you decide who does the job. Aye, aye, Captain. I'll take care of it. After carefully loading the dangerous cargo, the Zero Fleet waits for instructions from Zorin. Now, listen up. Zack, you move on first, and don't take any chances, got me? Aye, aye, Zorin! Keeping in mind Zorin's instructions, Zack moves upriver with his cargo. Easy as you go, Zack. Just keep us steady and keep flying that ninja flag. ZB, you're next. Same goes for you. Take it slow and easy. Aye, aye, sir. I'm on my way. I'll take the last barge myself. We'll meet up with Zip and Zog and get this job done right. <laughs> Keep your bows into the wind, boys, and mind the swells. Secret supplies coming through. Make way. Oh no. Current's got her. Look out! Fire! What's that? I'd better find out what's going on. As Ten Cents gets closer, he sees there's a fire. Some of the docks are in flames and the fire is spreading quick as lightning. Help! I'm trapped! I can't get in from this side! The fire's too hot! I see an opening! Hurry! I'm going in! You've only got one tenth to snag him, ten cents! Make it good! I got you! Had a tug, ten cents! Oh, you're a hero, ten 
cents, I'm putting you up for the Harbor Met La Water. Ten cents means to six. Since work in that dock? He is! I have to go help him! Stay here, Stinker! All over the harbor, Todd's here to call to action and rush to the sea to see how they can help. Hey, Otis, look over there! By the fuel dock! Isn't that a fuel tank surrounded by fire? Ooh, yes! And the tank will explode if it catches! That's a dangerous situation! I'll take care of it! Be careful, Ten Cents! I'll be okay! I've got a plan! I just hope it works. As the flames race across the dock, Warrior rushes to help Ten Cents. Oh, Ten Cents! Ten Cents! Here comes the fireball! Let him in there! We're running out of time! But don't worry, I'll be careful! Ten Cents! Watch your mouth! Wait for me! I'll help! Stay where you are, Sunshine! Look out! before she blows to smithereens. And with great courage and skill, the brave little tug pushes the flaming barge safely out to sea. The tugs worked all night fighting the fire, and by morning, they had put it out, and no one was hurt. By dawn, the fire on the docks is out. All the tugs are safe and gathered in the harbor, except for 10 cents. Why isn't he back yet? Doing my job. And doing it great, as always. What? Grampus, what are you doing? Sorry, Blue Nose. Gotta take you to Dry Dock. Dry Dock? What did I do wrong? Well, nothing. Rule 63P. Any vessel exposed to fire shall undergo a complete inspection, stem to stern. But I feel fine. Sorry, sir. Rules are rules. At least save me the embarrassment of being towed in. I can make it on my own, Steve. Ah, uh, 64Q. Since when did you become such an expert? Since you made me take your course. The rule book. Uh... No one can love it. <laughs>